Hey y'all, welcome back to Scorpio Chronicles. So I'm going for a little quarantine walk because I just need some fresh air and the sun is out today. And I was actually telling my cousin how I've been noticing every day the weather pattern will switch up to where one day it'll be cloudy and rainy and just icky. And then the next day the sun will be out. So today is the next day and the sun is out. Basically, I'm walking to go get some food, but just to do a little wellness check for my Scorpio babies. Like, are y'all good? Like, do y'all, like, what type of energy do you feel in the atmosphere? Like, now that we are all done with our fear and our panic frenzy, like, are you starting to go within yourself for answers? Are you starting to, you know, meditate? Are you starting to breathe? Are you starting to journal and write down your ideas and stuff? And if you're not doing this, do it right now. Find a piece of paper, find a pen, marker, Sharpie, whatever you want to do. And just really ask yourself, like all the questions that you have in your mind, you should write it down. You should totally write it down and you should totally just think about like, is this something that really matters to me? Is this really important? Is this something that I should be giving my attention to right now? Because I feel like what the collective is giving their attention to at this time is just like, all right, money. Where is money going to come from? How am I eat? How am I going to be able to do this? And these are valid questions and concerns. But to be honest with you, we don't really get clarity until we get uncomfortable first. So now that we're in the phase of uncomfortability, unfamiliarity, just, you know, a little bit of confusion. I heard um, the Trap Witch say this today on Instagram, and she basically said how your confusion is basically a ladder to clarity. And that was the realest shit I ever fucking heard all day today. Because it's so true, and this is something that I've been... You know, coming to the realization of on my own over the past couple days or so. Because what I've been doing is I'll have days where, okay, I have to be around my friends. To give myself that balance. And then I have two to three days where I will practice social distancing for real. And I'll just use those moments of solitude to go within myself and, you know, process my own emotions. Process a lot of my own questions. And that's why I've decided, like, you know what? I'm gonna really try to dedicate myself towards making more vlogs because I know a lot of the questions that I'm even asking myself, a lot of us are asking ourselves right now. And not only that, but a lot of the questions I've been asking, I've actually gotten pretty quick responses from the divine in my opinion. And I know it's from the divine because I have a sense of calmness, a sense of understanding that, yeah, I really don't understand what the fuck is supposed to be happening right now. Um, I do feel like we are definitely evolving. We are definitely in a time of getting some serious spiritual upgrades at this time. Um, I feel like a lot of people are not really able to cope with these new energies that are coming into the atmosphere of Earth at this time. And I feel like a lot of people are choosing to end their journey here. When I say journey... I'm referring to this thing we call life because this is something that we all agree to come here and do and experience. And it's just because now we're at a point where we're being called to rise up spiritually and reclaim our God-given gifts and skills and talents. And it's because we're starting to remember who we really are. Not just who, you know, our persona is because basically i feel like as human beings we've all come to this realization that shit i'm not my job because my job doesn't exist anymore or a lot of us who use our places of business or work or money making income or school a lot of us use these things as distractions or coping mechanisms and it because we spend so much time at school and work or investing into someone else's dream or pockets we have missed out on a lot of time to really get to know ourselves. So I feel like all of this going on with COVID-19 is really just like God's way of 
kindly forcing us to just sit down and really think about like okay what what else is there to life because I can sit here and worry and be afraid and stress myself out but at the end of the day who wants to live life like that I don't none of us want to voluntarily live like that now if we've been taught our whole lives that that's the only way to live then yeah for a lot of people who believed in the system and stuff you would believe like this is all that life has to offer but you know there's so much more to life and I'm very dedicated to exposing the other parts of life that there is because life is so beautiful and it's meant to be amazing so let's just make it great to my next video y'all peace